Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to tie the two-stranded wall knot. Now, I have tied three or more stranded versions in the past, but the two-stranded wall knot took me some time to break it down in a way that I could easily tie it. So I wanted to share this technique with you, and I think it is really useful for making keychains, lanyards, pendants. You could also make a bracelet for example, but the main use for it is about the same as that of a snake knot, but it is a bit easier to tie in my opinion. So let's take a look at how it looks like and how to tie it. So here you can see a couple of two stranded wall knots lined up one next to the other. I think that they look quite a bit like snake knots, so they can make a good substitute. Now let's tie a few. I have folded a piece of cord in half here and I'm going to use my right cord and twist it towards the right or clockwise. Then take my left strand and go under over through the loop like this. And then using the left strand, I'm going to pass over the right strand here and go under and through the loop made with the right cord. Then simply pull out the slack. Now if we try this again, twist your right cord clockwise to make a clockwise loop. Then with the left, go under over through the loop. Then over the right cord and under and through the loop made with the right cord, like this, and then simply pull out the slack. Let's make another one, just for good measure. So twist your right cord clockwise, feed through your left cord, go over the right cord, then under and through the loop made with the right cord, like this. Now once you pull out the slack, you're going to get a nice looking wall knot. So guys, I hope that this tutorial was clear enough. It is not that hard once you break it down and practice it a bit. In any case, thank you for joining me. See you next time.